In this Q&A video, we're going to answer the question, does current flow in the neutral conductor of a circuit? Now, this question relates to the video that Gary and Rick made on the C-norm varrier box, which is a highly flexible and adaptable bit of kit that you can have made to your own specs to make installation life easier. So do go and check that out after watching this video. Now, you may have noticed in that video that when Gary opened up the enclosure and we had a close look at the connections in the back of the socket outlets, there was a neutral connection taken to the back of the three-phase socket, which may have led you to wonder if it's really necessary and if current even flows in that neutral. After all, some three-phase plug and socket arrangements don't feature them at all. So, does current flow in the neutral? Well, the answer is yes and no. I love how much you all love an ambiguous it depends type answer, but hopefully we'll have got some clarity on this by the end of the video. Let's start out by taking a look at a single phase circuit. In fact, we're going to look at the supply to a consumer unit. So here we've got the line conductor that feeds that consumer unit. And if we measure the current flowing through the line conductor, you can see we're getting about 9.7 amps, somewhere around that, somewhere between 9.7 and 9.8. And then if we measure the current flowing in the neutral conductor feeding that consumer unit, you can see there we're getting about 9.5, 9.6 amps. So pretty much exactly the same reading there. There's a slight variance, but that might be down to a little bit of natural current leaking away somewhere it shouldn't, or it might just be a tolerance factor in the test equipment. But it leads us nicely to the conclusion that current does indeed flow inside a neutral conductor. And if we look at this very simple circuit diagram for a single phase circuit, it kind of makes sense. Current flows from the source, through the line conductor, through the load, and then back down the neutral. It's a common misconception in electrical science that current gets used up in the load, and it's simply not true. In fact, it's a fundamental rule of electricity that the current entering a point or node in the circuit must be equal to the current leaving that same node. The so-called Kirchhoff's current law. So here at Lineside Studios in Skipton, I've asked the boys to set up an experiment with a three-phase circuit feeding three single-phase sockets. All the neutrals in the sockets are joined to each other and go back to the one neutral conductor in the supply cable. Each of these sockets is feeding a heater and all of these are the same and will draw the same amount of power. So we've got one heater connected to L1, one connected to L2 and one connected to L3. Now if we turn on the heater connected to L1, we can measure the current in the line conductor feeding that heater. I'm just going to bring in hand cam here. Now, You'll notice in the back of here that I've undone the cable ties that were connecting these together so that I can access the cables a little more easily. It normally looks a lot neater than this uh, when you get it from C-norm. And what I'm going to do here is very carefully just clip this clamp meter onto L1 to start with. So we're going to turn that on to measure current. So let's do that. So that's now going to measure current when we clamp it around L1. So this is L1. The heater is drawing some current and you can see there that it's drawing about 3.1 amperes. Now if we move on from there and clip that around the neutral conductor, what do we find? We're getting pretty much exactly the same amount of current just like we were on that single phase supply to that property earlier just about 3.1 amps there. So no surprises there then. Now let's leave the first heater on and let's turn the heater that's connected to L2 on as well. So now we've got both of these heaters on. These heaters are the same, so we should be looking at roughly the same amount of current in the line conductor for this socket. So let's have a look at that, bring in hand cam again. Here we are now on L2. And you can see there that we are measuring about three amps. There we go. So about 3.0 amps, so roughly the same current that we had from the first heater. Now, when we measure the current in the neutral, what will you expect it to be? Maybe the current from L1 added to the current from L2? After all, both currents are heading back down the neutral together, so it makes sense to add them up. Let's have a look and see what we're getting. So we'll clip onto the neutral there, so we're onto the neutral conductor, and what are we getting? We're getting about 3.1 amps, so that's weird. It's the same amount as just one of the currents from an individual heater. So where's the missing current going? Okay, well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's hook up the third heater. So we're going to turn that on now. Now they're all on. They're all drawing current. And this third one is the same as the other two. So we'd expect it to be drawing the same amount of current. So we'll just confirm it with a measurement. So we clip that around L three there and again we're getting about three amps so we're drawing the same amount of current obviously there's some slight differences in the current there because the heaters will be manufactured within certain tolerances so let's just clip this on the neutral and see what we get you can see there see it flash there 
0.1 amps is about how much we were getting there. You'll see that it's gone back to its auto mode. So essentially this clamp meter feels like it's not connected around the conductor at all because there's so little current flowing through there. So the upshot of this is that basically there is no current flowing through that neutral. In fact, in this situation right now, we could disconnect the neutral completely and the heaters would just continue running away quite happily neutralless. So have we just completely destroyed the idea that the current flowing into a point in a circuit should be the same as the current flowing out of it again? Because if we draw this out as a circuit, what we're saying is that the current flowing from each of these heaters into this common neutral connection somehow becomes zero current in the neutral. Actually, that is spot on. Those three current values combined does indeed become zero because the three currents are out of phase with each other. There's a few different ways that we can show this, but I think the simplest way is like this, in the form of a three-phase waveform. Here we're showing the three different currents as sine waves, L1, L2, and L3, and you can see that they're peaking at different points in the cycle of the waveform. Now I've set this so that the peak of those waveforms represent the value we measured earlier. Technically that value would be higher as the value we measured was the RMS value, but more on that another time. The key point here is that if we look at any point on these waveforms, we can see how much current is flowing in the three line conductors at any given moment. And if we take a reading of those currents and combine them as positive and negative values, every time we get a value of zero. So if we've got the same amount of current flowing in each line conductor, the current in the neutral will be exactly zero. And in fact, we don't need a neutral. And that is what we refer to as a balanced three-phase load. That's why three-phase motors don't generally have a neutral connection, because each coil in the motor is drawing exactly the same amount of current, and so the neutral current is zero. Clever stuff. Now that leads us to the question, why have a neutral at all? Well, we've already seen why in this video. When we only had one heater connected to L1, or when we had one on L1 and on L2, there was current flowing in the neutral. That's because the current in each line conductor was not the same. The three-phase supply was not balanced, and so we had current flowing in the neutral. So in a big commercial or industrial building where there's lots of single-phase circuits connected to a three-phase supply, the electrical designer will have tried as hard as possible to keep the phases balanced. However, there'll always be some circuits and submains with different currents in the line conductors, and therefore, there will always be current in the neutral, and it will be required in most three-phase installations. For more information on the C-norm variable box, please watch this video here, and thank you very much for watching.